I'm not a guy who likes to run a lot uh, outside, but I was in quarantine in uh, Istanbul and uh, <laughs> to go outside and to run one hour was the best moment of the day. And uh, no, I was with a uh, with wife, nothing special, you know, uh, we stay home and uh, we had a lot of time to do unusual stuff, let's say. So it was, the, let's say the first month was cool. After this was start, start to be a little bit longer. Then we, I went back to France and uh, I practiced all summer in Lyon because Tony uh, gave me access to the gym. It was not easy to have access to, to gym in, uh, in France. So thanks God, I know Tony and uh, that's it. And now I'm here. Yeah, I had a question about Leo, about hmm. Axel. Uh, what were you talking about with them? You know, it's uh, very funny that those two French guys play, play here because Leo is uh, my best friend. And uh, I grew up with, with Axel from uh, 8 to maybe se from 7 to 12, 13 years old. We were living in the same village, like really village. And uh, we were seeing each other every day. So it's <laughs> so funny, you know, like the world is so small. Unbelievable. When, uh, when uh, I found an apartment in, uh, <laughs> on the uh, internet, I send them and they say, oh, take it right away, you will not find better, you know. Take it before the player <laughs> come and take it before you. No, some little stuff like this and uh, okay. Also, we, we talk a little bit about basketball for sure, but uh, a lot of things will change without Sharas. Uh, and uh, that's it. We will uh, stay in touch like always. Um, when you sign a contract with Jalgiris, you introduced yourself in Lithuanian language in your, in your social media. How did this idea came up? <laughs> uh, okay, you know, Paulus is a good friend with Leo. And uh, a lot of time when Leo was playing here, I was calling uh, Leo on the phone and he was next to him. So, plus I play, I play against him with national team, uh, with, uh, in your league also. So, okay, we know each other. and. Uh, he sent me, uh, he sent me texts like, "Okay, I'm happy you arrive in the team, blah blah blah. This is what you have to put." And uh, in my mind, I say, "Okay, I hope he's not going to <laughs> to tell me some uh, some bad things because I put it right away on social media." So, so as we are talking about fans, how can you rate Jalgiris fans amongst the best of you? For sure, on the best, on the best. They are they are not hooligans, but uh, if you Put on the side hooligans, I believe they are uh, on the top, for sure. A lot of people come to every game, it's a it's big party. Um, tell us about the moment when Jalgiris reached you for the first time. I was uh, I was glad of the opportunity, you know, it's uh, your league, It's they, they want to give me a very important role and uh, again it's Jalgiris. Honestly, it's a, it's a big club, I know it's a very good organization, this was also important for me. You know, it's, uh, it's nice sometimes to be on a good organization, on the organization trying to put players in, a, in, a, in their best capacity, you know, like a private plane, blah, blah, blah. Uh, so, um, yes, and I heard a lot about Leo, you know, even before to, to call Paulus, I knew already a lot about traveling situation, uh, uh, Lithuanian domestic league, about city, about everything. So I was like, okay, this is good for me now. Uh, how would you describe yourself as a basketball player, as a big guy? You know, I just try to, to enjoy when I play basketball, to have fun. And, uh, and uh, I think this is the most important thing. You know, when you have fun on the court and when you have fun with uh, teammates, you always play a lot better. And finally, what is your goals with Chalgiris for the upcoming season? I don't know, we'll talk with uh, Paulus and with Coach later, but uh, okay, for sure, the training league is uh, to win. And uh, I believe, but again, we have to, to talk, but I believe if we, if we make the playoff, we can be very happy.